Hi, uh, welcome to my channel PKR Vibes Career and Growth. Today we will discuss about the denial CO183 in a medical building. Here CO183 stands for referring provider is not eligible to refer the service billed. So before we going to the, this denial, we have to understand that the referring provider information is available on a CMS 1500 form on a box number 17 and 17B. 17B is a NPI and 17 we can see the name of the referring provider. So before we discussing of any denial we have to understand that there are a three step. One step is a pre-call analysis on a particular denial and uh, second step is a on-call analysis on a that, that particular denial and third step is a final action that is the end action on that particular denial. So for this referring provider is not eligible denial what are the pre-call analysis we will discuss now so for example we build this claim to insurance and insurance is denied stating that co 183 and we consider that this denial was already posted in a software so we are doing analysis pre-call analysis on a denial first pre-call analysis step for this denial is we should have to check does this doctor is received any payments previously for the previous dose so because this always uh, in this video consider the doctor is nothing but referring doctor so 17a doctor 17 uh, box number in 17 we have the referring provider referring provider is also known as a pcp pcp is nothing but primary care physician or primary care doctor so uh, is also known as a gatekeeper so uh, these are the referring provider uh, doctor and uh, first pre-call analysis is does we have the payments on a previous dose or not we have to check for the same doctor if we received the payments on a same kind of services for the same doctor we should have to do the call to the insurance and we have to told on a call you should have to probe the same information already we got the payments for this doctor on a previous dose so could you please reprocess the claim with this information definitely they will reprocess the claim if your whatever probing information is the correct if they so if if you uh, if you have a, any payments on a previous dose you should have to give the reference for that claim number and for that date of particular date of service on a call so that they will verify really they give the payments to your doctor or not if they given the payments on a same kind of services to your doctor definitely they will reprocess the claim over the phone call so first pre-call analysis is you have to check the previous payment history and the next step on call steps so because if you for example if you don't have any payments on a call if you have a payments also you have to do the call and probe the information reprocess if you doesn't have any payments on a previous dos to the this this uh, doctor then also you should have to call to the payer and ask why this referring doctor is not eligible to refer the services you should have to get the reason why so uh, why this doctor is not eligible you have to get the answer from the insurance representative over the phone call as a AR caller this is your job so I found that there are a maximum there are a three kind of reasons why this referring doctor is not eligible to refer the services so here for example if you are a calling to the insurance representative as a fresher first if you don't know I will repeat again how to call and how to ask the denial uh, how to get the denial status i will tell you for example your denial is already posted in a software then you are calling to the insurance representative to get the denial claim status not for the claim status because denial is already posted in your software so that's why it is a denial claim status otherwise for the clarification of a denial you are calling to the payer right because you know already the reason referring provider is not eligible so you want to know the reason you already denial reason you know but why it was a denied why the doctor is not eligible you don't know so you have to get that reason by calling to the insurance so that is the job of AR caller so if denial is posted in your software if you don't have any information why it is denied 
as a air caller you should have to call to the insurance representative and get that information and you should have to document that information and you should have to take the action on that particular claim that is your air caller job so here if referring doctor is not eligible there might be three reasons the reason one i given is the referring provider information is mismatching on a claim form from payer side for example you submitted 90% we submit electronic claims and uh, if you are submitting an electronic claim to the insurance that electronic claim should be processed pass through your internal clearing house at the same time external clearing house so that electronic claim should pass through your side clearing house internal clearing house at the same time payer side clearing house that is external clearing house if it is passes through this two clearing houses then only it will be entering to the claims processing department payer so that there might be any glitch happen from your side or payer side so in that way there might be chances to getting information is a mismatching so that's why they say that you should have to resubmit your claim because the referring provider information on box number 17 or 17b is missing from our side our side means payer side they will say on a claim on a claim that we are missing that uh, referring provider information so could you please resub resubmit the claim so if you are checking on your side in your clearing house or in your software you will found that information not that is nothing but from our side it is okay from their external play, uh, external clearing house they have a glitch might be so it is a better to resubmit the claim this time so uh, the re the reason is the referring provider information is mismatching on claim form from payer side then then you have to resubmit the claim to insurance from your side again other otherwise you should ask them can i resubmit the claim yes they will say that okay you can resubmit the claim so second reason why this referring doctor is not eligible is might be referring provider specialty is a different so here the specialty is nothing but taxonomy so what is the special by seeing taxonomy you can understanding that what is the specialty of this doctor for example you are billing to the uh, services uh, to the insurance i mean you are giving services to the patient and you are billed to the insurance the insurance will understand that your doctor specialty based on your taxonomy code on a claim form so for example you are billing radiology services in your taxonomy there in a middle you can see the letter r as in romeo so this r stands for radiology for example if you are billing nephrology services to the payer so then the payer will understanding by seeing your taxonomy code in your taxonomy the middle letter should be like n n as in nephrology so like that here the referring provider why is not eligible means the specialty is different whatever you build the services in that case as a ar caller you should have to do the analysis on a claim so whatever the build services build whatever the build procedure code cpd code and whatever the build diagnosis code is related to the taxonomy or not you should have to check so how you can check by seeing taxonomy if it is related to example it is related to nephrology whatever the build diagnosis code is related to nephrology or not you have to understanding by seeing medical records or otherwise you should have to enter your taxonomy's npis number in a npi registry so that you can uh, understand okay whatever the build services is related to the taxonomy or not for example your diagnosis code whatever build is related to the taxonomy of nephrology for example the there is a taxonomy code nephrology and whatever the build services is also related to the nephrology then you should have to call to the payer and probe that whatever the build services is not a uh, build specialty is not different it is same to the whatever build services so nothing but whatever the service we build whatever the taxonomy we entered on a claim form is the same 
not a different could you please reprocess the claim in that way you should have to probe and reprocess the claim if you are good at analysis for example if you found that speciality is really different whatever the insurance representative is also told that the speciality is different at the same time you checked in npi registry and you found that the speciality is also different it is not related to whatever the services you build at the time you should have to document that particular taxonomy and also what is different from your services and you should have to task this information to your client for the further assistance so that your client will understand what is happening on this doctor because we don't have any previous payments and also it seems that the taxonomy is not related to the services so they will take appropriate uh, steps on this issue so this is the reason number two and reason number three why the provider is not eligible to refer the services so here the reason number three is very important please concentrate because this might be cases will come with the state medicaid for example the referring provider is not enrolled with the payer and also not enrolled with the group for example your state medicaid is denied the claim stating that uh, on call you found that referring provider is not enrolled with the payer means your state medicaid is not enrolled you are not enrolled with that nothing but your doctor is not enrolled with the payer so you your doctor is not enrolled with the insurance simple thing or otherwise second reason i mean uh, sub reason for this reason 3 is your referring doctor is not enrolled with the group group means year 33 b in the cms 1500 form box number 33 is the group information you can find group npi everything is related is you can find so if your doctor is not enrolled with the group also we will get this provider issue denial at the same time your doctor is not enrolled with the insurance nothing but with the payer also if your doctor not enrolled also we will get this reason number three so uh, you should have to call and ask what is the exact reason why this referring provider is not eligible to refer the services so there might be three reasons one is the information mismatching on a claim forms second one is speciality might be different third reason is that provider might be not enrolled with the payer or not enrolled with the group these are the three reasons for this provider issues so uh, guys if you are if you are watching my video as a first time and uh, if you are not yet subscribed could you please subscribe my channel and uh, hit the bell icon so that you will get every my video as a notification to your mobile and uh, also we will discuss end actions on this CO 183 denial so before going to end action if content is useful please like my video so that it will be reaches to more needy people and uh, so here end action for the reason number one i give an end action for example information is a mismatching and a claim from from payer side if rep is told that resubmit the claim then you should have to resubmit your electronic claim second second reason number two if speciality is a different if speciality is a different you should have to document whatever you build services and also what the speciality is you build on a claim form which is different to your services and with proper documentation you should have to transfer your claim to your client for the next action so that your client will review whatever you did and they will take final action towards the resolutions okay and for example your speciality is related to whatever you build services you should have to probe the same information and reprocess the claim that is your ar caller job for the reason two it might be tasked to the client if it is a different if it is the same you should have to reprocess the claim over the phone call for that is the end action of a reason two and end action for the reason three is you should have to ask if for example your doctor is not enrolled with the insurance then you should have to ask what are the steps how to enroll if they are providing you should have to document that information how to enroll with the payer or how to enroll with the group with that information you should have to task to your client so that if it is genuine if it is really uh, doctor is not enrolled they will move this your claim to credentialing work you so that credentialing team will work on this denial if it is really the doctor is not enrolled with the payer or group
so that is your job so first one is uh, if uh, information mismatching you should have to resubmit the claim so that you will get the resolution if a uh, speciality is the same you should have to reprocess the claim if speciality is a different you can take a task to your client and if re if your doctor is not enrolled with that uh, payer you should have to transfer to your task your client so that your client will transfer this claim to credentialing work you so guys this is a referring provider is not eligible to refer the service build scenario so if you have any doubts or if you have any feedback or if you have any suggestions for me could you please do the comment so that i will help you i will replay on your comments so that we will learn accordingly and by the way thank you so much for your valuable time to spend here thank you